President Trump has a mugshot photo while half of Congress now join him. That's because Democrat Congressman Dan Goldman is back on CNN threatening House Republicans with treason, essentially, for pursuing impeachment charges against Biden. Watch. Not only is there no evidence of any wrongdoing by President Biden, but it now appears as if the House Republican majority is being used by Russia to interfere in the 2024 election on behalf of Donald Trump. If they continue with this investigation, they are simply doing the work of Vladimir Putin to help Donald Trump win an election in November. That's where we are. This Russia Gate hoax 2.0, as many are calling it, is even more serious now than its original version was back in 2016. Because since that election year, the left has become more emboldened to not only weaponize the national security state for spying and impeachment purposes, but also they are actively trying to lock up President Trump, rob him, as we see in New York, of his private wealth, imprison his supporters, and kick him off the ballot in some states. Imagine the left widens that scope to any congressional Republican who openly identifies with MAGA. That's the ground where Goldman and his ilk are laying. And while they weaponize the national security state, Biden or whoever is calling the shots for him, well, they're busy buying up votes for November to distract the public from this third world level of political backstabbing. So now the Biden administration has moved up its latest round of student debt forgiveness with a plan they jimmy rigged after the Supreme Court struck down a separate version which forgave even more money last year. They were originally planning to start this latest round in July, but congressional Democrats were telling Biden that the economy is hurting him right now in the polls, so he better not wait on providing some form of relief. An email is now going out to 153,000 eligible borrowers in Biden's SAVE plan, which stands for the Saving on a Valuable Education Plan, to say that Biden has canceled all or part of their student debt. It only costs the rest of us taxpayers $1.2 billion. What a steal. Add that to the $138 billion they've already discharged in other rounds of student debt forgiveness since entering office. And no wonder our economy is a mess. For those who borrowed $12,000 or less and have been making payments for at least 10 years and are enrolled in the SAFE program, their slate has essentially been wiped clean. For every extra $1,000 borrowed, it takes another year to wait for forgiveness, which isn't all that bad considering that 4.3 million borrowers under the SAFE plan have $0 monthly payments depending on their income level. And while I'm all for sticking it to colleges for this usury scheme they've been running, using the peer pressure of society to force literal teenagers into taking out massive debt slave level loans for degrees that often end up being worthless in this economy, well, the problem is that Biden's plan rewards colleges for doing this and encourages them to keep making prices so exorbitant because Uncle Sam will always be there to pick up the slack. So colleges are making money either way, and now more kids might be enticed to go to brainwashing colleges and to therefore add to elite overproduction if they think that they will never have to actually pay back their loans, or at least not fully. What we need, what we need is to tax or seize the endowments of these schools to pay for everything. Then we need a conservative elite capture of these institutions to make them about learning once again and to drive down prices. Till then, this cycle will continue. Joining us now to discuss is Tyler O'Neill, the managing editor of The Daily Signal. Tyler, thanks for being here tonight. Thanks again for having me. Great. So is Joe Biden buying votes with a safe plan, plain and simple? Yeah, I mean, what we're seeing, and I think both of these stories, these are Groundhog Day from hell sort of stories. You know, we have the Russia, Russia, Russia hoax, which, you know, they started back in 2015, 2016, and now has continually been morphed into newer and newer versions just to demonize Trump and to try to prevent him from doing what the American people sent him to Washington, D.C. in 2016 to do. And now with this, we've also seen President Biden, again, trying to, by fiat, cancel all this debt. You know, this this isn't really a debt cancellation so much as it's a giveaway to people who are likely to vote Democrat. And he's saying, hey, look, vote for me and you're gonna have your student loans forgiven. And the Supreme Court rightly struck down the first version. It's only, it's very likely that they're going to strike down another version